32 NFL teams with the best players in the history of all of their franchises put together in one NFL imperialism. The rules are simple. We'll spin the wheel to see which team is going on the attack. We'll spin this arrow to see in which direction they'll be attacking. Whichever team scores the first touchdown will survive and take over the opposing team's territory. The last NFL team standing wins. And on our first spin, we hit the Philadelphia Eagles. We'll be heading to the Northeast. We'll give it a spin and see which direction the Eagles are attacking. And it looks like they're going to be attacking South west the steelers are more west the ravens are more south and the arrow is definitely more west than south so the eagles will be attacking the steelers with reggie white brian dawkins harold carmichael rod woodson troy palamalu franco harris antonio Bra antonio brown each game will be played on two minute quarters because our tiebreaker is really fun and i kind of want to see if any of them hits and in just the second quarter terry bradshaw finds a man Pickens stays up he's got space can he beat him in the foot race? George Pickens down the sideline. We have a winner, and just like that, the number one team in current day NFC is eliminated from the best all-time legend team competition. But if your team gets eliminated early, don't worry, because they'll have a shot at redemption. Once we're down to just one NFL team remaining, we'll be simming an entire franchise made up with every single team, and whichever team wins the Super Bowl, in what we're going to call the loser's bracket, will have a shot at redemption against the winning team from NFL imperialism. This will culminate in our grand final, where we'll name one victor aka the greatest nfl franchise of all time spinning the wheel to see our next attacker as the eagles have now been consumed by the steelers and it's gonna be the la rams are our next attackers now we'll be spinning the arrow to see which direction the rams will be attacking and it looks like it's gonna be mostly north they'll be taking on their northern neighbors in the 49ers Turn five he's got time he's got a man he's got a completion tory holt up to the 30 they don't want to settle for three here they want a touchdown they want to be able to put this away he's got marshall falk open over the middle there's not much time to go warner drops back he's got another man he's open to the four yard line joe Montana might not even see the field if Kurt Warner is able to convert here. He had a man, but he overthrows him. Warner drops back to pass again. He's got a man. Touchdown, Cooper Cup. The Rams are moving on. Joe Montana and Jerry Rice never even saw the ball. And just like that, man, the Rams are almost the kings of California with only the Chargers in their way. Spinning for our next attacking team. I'd, I'd love to see the Californians take it on, man. Let's try to finish this. But instead, we're staying on the West Coast anyways, the Arizona Cardinals. And they will be taking on someone to the southwest the chargers at a 95 overall are absolutely no joke they're going for it fourth and goal they're not taking the field goal they know a touchdown wins it they want it palmer drops back he gets hit 30 seconds to go 98 yards i'm guessing we're going to the second half drops back throws it deep again he's got a man lance allworth the stud he just really don't want to get the he goes deep this could be a touchdown no it's not but lance allworth is down to the six Rolls out, got a man in the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers! The Chargers have claimed Arizona from the attacking Cardinals. The battle for California just got that much more interesting. And then we had a few unclaimed territories scooped up as the Panthers took over South Carolina and the Patriots took over the small state of Rhode Island. We still have a lot of empty space to fill out on this map, but eventually all these territories will be claimed. There will be just one team remaining as we spin and we get Looks like the Packers. And the Packers will be attacking to their northeast. Which means they'll be taking on the Upers in the great state of Michigan. We got a Packers versus Lions. NFC North showdown. Now, the Lions have had some great players. But even their best all-time team is only a 79 overall versus the 94 overall Packers. It looks like they're going with Aaron Rodgers over Brett Favre. Very interesting. Please hand it off. They do. And there goes the pressure. Rodgers. Seam streak. Again. 84. Puts on a juke. Rodgers drops back, hands it to Aaron Jones. No, it's play action. He's got a man. He was wide open and drops it. So the Packers settle for a field goal, and the Lions have a chance to tie it up or win. Stafford, he's got a man over the middle. They still do have two timeouts after that. Oh, he's got a man, though, but he's short. He drops the ball. They only need one touchdown here. Rodgers has Devontae Adams on the outside. Aaron Rodgers has got to convert this third and four. Otherwise, the Lions have a chance. Oh, Devontae Adams wide open. Cuts up the middle of the field down to the 25. Gun bunch tight end 
for the Packers. Aaron Rodgers hands the ball off. Easy first down and more. Breaking tackles is Aaron Jones. Now our tiebreaker is, of course, whoever wins the game. This game will not be going to overtime. The Packers are going to kneel it out and end up in victory formation, it looks like. That's why field goals will still matter for this challenge. If you're unable to score, it's important to put points up on the board. As they run the ball, they get down to the three-yard line. They are taking over the state of Michigan. It's bidding to see who will be on the attack next in our game of imperialism. We got the Kansas City Chiefs. They've got a lot of unclaimed territory around them. Let's see what direction the arrow tells them to go. It's going to end up almost directly south, but just east enough to attack the Titans. To no one's surprise, the Chiefs have the overall advantage. Of course, they've got Tyreek Hill back on their team. Only 17 seconds left in the first quarter. He's got two minutes and a half. That's Tyreek Hill. 35-yard line. I see a lot of defenders around Tyreek Hill, but Mahomes gets sacked to the 42nd and 15. They're kicking a field goal, which is big because if they miss this, the Titans are going to get great field position with three timeouts and a chance to score before this half. The kick is up, and the kick is good. They're just going to hand it off. This time, they've got a lane, but he's got a blocker in front of him. He's gone. He's absolutely gone. And can he get tackled? He does. Second and 10. Moon drops back. He surveys. He's got a man. He does to the 10 yard line. They call no huddle. Eight seconds, seven, six, five. This is going to be the last play, maybe. No, he throws it away. And instead, they're going to settle for three points to tie it up with the Chiefs getting the ball in the second half. Holmes hands it off. No, it's play action. He's got a man wide open down the middle of the field. That's Tyreek Hill. But then Mr. Goat himself makes a mistake. Throws a pick at the 50 yard line. Warren Moon, as long as he can get into the end zone here, he's got a man wide open. That's a huge gain to the 23. Play action again, man. They really do not want to run the ball. Man open. Touchdown. Titans take it. They upset the Chiefs to Ernest Givens. I got to say, man, this is the biggest upset we've seen so far. This imperialism is going crazy already. And with a major upset, one that I was not expecting, the Titans take over the Chiefs territory. And then we spun the Saints who attacked to the Northwest and took over an unclaimed territory just to land next time on the Colts who are headed West to take on my Chicago Bears. The Colts are only an 86 overall. The Bears are a 93. They got Mike Singletary. They got sweetness. They got Brian Urlacher. Peyton Manning finds a man wide open. Is that Dallas Clark? Peyton Manning, he's got a man. He missed him on the hitch route. Fourth down, they're going to punt it away. It looks like the Bears have Jay Cutler at quarterback and Matt Forte at running back. Where is sweetness? Let's get him in the game. This is a big play. Even though the Bears do get the ball after half, they're going to hand it off and just get stopped right up the middle. Colts use a timeout. They got a chance to score here. Five wide. Manning drops back. High snap. He's trying, though. He's throwing the ball down deep. He's got a man. Oh, my gosh. He's got a man wide open. Reggie Wayne, Marvin Harrison, all these guys on this team. I don't know how the Bears stopped them here. This could be the play of the game. The Colts will automatically get three here. No, he's wide open. Marvin Harrison comes through for the touchdown, and the Bears get upset by the Sheriff yet again. After drawing the Bengals, they're easily able to make an expansion to their Southwest, followed up by another easy expansion, this time by the Broncos heading to the North and taking over Wyoming until we finally draw the Giants. The Giants can either attack the Bills, the Jets, the Patriots, or claim an unclaimed territory. As we spin the arrow, that will decide their fate is they're going to go directly west, which means they'll be taking on the Buffalo Bills. I'm kind of surprised the Giants are 78 overall. Obviously, they got like Michael Strahan on their team. They got Eli Manning, but the Bills are an 86. Big third down again. They're threatening, but they got to convert here. Tiki Barber's wide open, but he's going deep instead. Flag! I think that's going to be pass interference on Trey White. First and goal on the nine-yard line. Some could call it a bailout, but he's had some people open. Can he just connect? He does. He's down to the one. The question is, will they go for it on fourth and goal, or will they take the three points? Spoiler alert. They kicked the field goal. Come on, Josh Embarrass, this New York Giants team. The screen pass wide open. He's got so much space. A ton of blocking. One play left. He's probably going to end up throwing it out of the back of the end zone. Only six seconds. He does throw it out of the back of the end zone. They're going to take their three points. Tie game going into the half. But the Bills can still win it with a touchdown on their opening drive from the second half. At least that's what I thought until I stopped paying attention on the kickoff with one second left before halftime. And then the Giants decide to do something absolutely crazy. Oh my God. The Giants can return a kick here and win it. It's a foot race to the 10-5 touchdown. Saquon Barkley on the kickoff return just puts this game away. I was caught off guard, man. I wasn't expecting it, but just like that, the Buffalo Bills 
lose. I can't believe we just removed the Bills by a kickoff return with one second left in the half. But on we spin, on we go. This time we've got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on the prowl. As we spin the arrow, it's whatever direction it's pointing to more. It's going to be north. And just like that, they'll be taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Tristan Wirfs, Levante, David, Mike Evans versus Trevor Lawrence, Josh Allen, and Jalen Ramsey back on the Jag. And he's going deep on this one. Mike Evans almost a pick, though. Fourth and five. They're punting it away. Trevor drops back. You got to find someone, my dude. He's wide open and you still miss him. They're going to punt the ball away and give the Bucks another chance. They're going to try with the Hail Mary. I don't think he's got the arm range, though. Oh, my God. Did he throw a pick six with one? second left doug williams the second before halftime clutch in a row bro what did we just witness in back-to-back -back games before halftime absolutely crazy and then we had several unclaimed land grabs with the saints moving east the vikings moving to their southwest the broncos to their northwest the Seahawks to the south, and the Raiders and Ravens both claiming unclaimed territory to their east. The Ravens have taken over an unclaimed territory now, and we spin the wheel again to see who's up next. It looks like it's going to be the Cleveland Browns who are being overshadowed by the Cincinnati Bengals right now in this game. And they will be attacking. Please go south. I want them to take on the Bengals. Instead, they're going northeast. And they're going to be taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers, who is our first game in this competition. Browns in 85, Steelers in 83. This should prove interesting. Nick Chubb on the carry. Second and 13. Huge space. Easy first down. We're going to the second quarter. Otto Graham drops back. Surveys. He's got a man open, but he drops it. Third and 10. Bad pass. Bradshaw's got a chance here before half. He's just going to hit Najee Harris on the check down. But he breaks a tackle. He could get out of bounds here if he's smart. Instead, he's not. How about we air the ball out this time? He does. He's got a man wide open. Number 17. I don't know who that is, but the Steelers score. And the Browns are done. We got more competition in Ohio than just the Cleveland Browns. The Steelers take the territory, and we could see a challenge on the Bengals next. We spin again to see who's going to go on the attack this time. Looks like it's going to be someone in the early alphabet of teams looking like the Atlanta Falcons. We haven't seen much from the Southeast. And they'll be attacking in the direction of their Northwest, which is the Titans, who have already taken down the Chiefs. Now, the Falcons, apparently, historically, not a very good team. Only a 66 overall. They will have Matt Ryan at quarterback. This time, Earl Campbell's got so much space, dude. But on the next play, the Titans surprise us with a massive mistake. Oh my god, it's a fumble! And the Falcons recover in plus territory! Holy smoke! They've got a chance to perform a crazy upset here. Oh, he's got a man wide open. He holds on to it. So if they win here, I mean, you can credit it to Michael Vick. He was so open. Yes, he hands it off. Wide open, so much space. It's going to be a touchdown. I can't believe that just happened. We had a 66 overall team completely destroy and demolish a way better team. But I, like I said, I think the Falcons might be a sneaky contender in the rest of this competition. And the Falcons just took over a massive chunk of land, including Tennessee and Missouri. And we'll spin for our next attacker. That's one of the craziest upsets we've seen so far, without a doubt. But this time we're going to land back in the Midwest, it looks like, as we keep rolling and pass the Broncos to the Green Bay Packers, and they will be attacking in the direction of their southwest, which is an unclaimed territory in the state of Iowa. Coming again to see our next attacker. The map is starting to fill up. We're going to get less and less easy bailouts for some of these teams. They're going to have to start facing down competition as we draw the Miami Dolphins. Now, Miami can only attack one direction, which is north to the Jags. We don't even have to spin the wheel here. Okay, on third and seven, Trevor's got a man wide open. Easy first down. Trevor rolls out. He's got a man deep. He's going deep. He's got a man wide open. No, the Dolphins won't even get to touch the ball. Touchdown, Jags. I'm sorry, Dolphins fans, but that's what makes this interesting. That's what levels the playing field. I was totally expecting to see Dan Marino, but down he goes pretty early, man. The Dolphins are off. The Jags have won the war for Florida, at least for the time being. We spin our wheel again, and we land on the Giants. So they're going to be going southwest. The Giants are taking on the Steelers. Bradshaw's been hot, man. He's already taken down two opponents. He finds a seam to George Pickens there. Bradshaw drops back. He's got a wide open spacing concept to the tight end. Fryermuth up for the 
nine yard gain, third and one. Big third down opportunity for both the offense and the defense. Bradshaw finds a man open in the flat, but I don't think he got it. It's fourth and one. This will be a big decision time for the New York Giants. I want to see the Giants be aggressive here. Instead, they're going to keep it on the ground. Maybe they don't need to because they got Tiki Barber out of the backfield. Eli Manning finds a man open in the flat. It's all going through Tiki Barber on this drive. Okay, Eli. He throws an interception. Oh my goodness. He threw it right to the defense. Wow, that was just Eli Manning's worst pass in the history of passes. Bradshaw drops back all the time in the world. He throws to the end zone. He's got a man. George Pickens again. The Steelers take down the New York Giants. Remember, we will be doing a franchise sim at the end to take on the winner of the imperialism to see who the real ultimate champion is as kind of a loser's bracket type of admission. Now we got the New England Patriots and they are going to be going in the direction of their Northwest, which of course their Northwest is vacant. So they'll be taking over that territory as well. Tell you what, man, the Patriots have taken over, I think three territories at this point and have not had to battle one time. Feels like there's not that many teams left, but we still got a lot of map to cover as we're going to go back to the Midwest and the Minnesota Vikings will be the next to attack. And they'll be attacking in the direction of their southeast, which means they'll be taking on the Green Bay Packers in another NFC North showdown for the Midwest. Aaron Rodgers is starting out with the ball first. As a Bears fan, I want to see the Vikings win this game. I don't want to see the Packers go on, but so many yards after the catch. He's breaking more tackles now. Okay, Aaron Rodgers, what do you got? Your running back was wide open in the flat. The wide receiver is wide open over the middle. Everybody's open. Can the Vikings cover anyone, dude? Easy second and two. I expect him to take a shot here. Just going to take the easy one over the middle. High formation lined up. Aaron Rodgers snaps it. They play action. I was expecting him. Oh, he fumbles and he puts it on the ground. The Vikings recover from their own 33-yard line. Easy pass. High formation. I'm definitely expecting a run. They have Adrian Peterson in the backfield. You have to run the ball with AP who gets absolutely dominated by this Packers defense. I'm excited to see what Fran can put together here. I know the Vikings are going to upset someone. Wide open! 84! Who is that? That's Randy Moss. Of course he's wide open. But they gotta be able to finish the drive. Minute 22 left in the half before they get ball back at halftime again. Seven yard line. France gotta find a target in the end zone. Hawkinson looked open, but it doesn't matter. Touchdown, Vikings! That's Delvin Cook! And the Vikings! right now are kings of the north look at how much territory they have now down to just 19 teams left it sounds like a lot but these are gonna go fast trust me this is gonna really really pick up now as we get our first spin on the new york jets we haven't seen any action from them yet but i'm excited to see joe namath the quarterback and they'll be attacking in the direction of their west a little bit south they're gonna be taking on the steelers who are three and a very tough competition for them. Bradshaw drops back. Big third and four. He's got George Pickens, man. That is a connection and a half right there. Third and six. He's going to take a huge sack. He's got three receivers to the right. He had a wide open seam and he absolutely missed him. That could have been a touchdown, man. Okay, name is second and 10. Dropping back five wide. Minute 22 left on the clock. That's not the pass you want to throw. Third and three. Well, they converted the first down. All eyes on Joe as he drops back. Got a man on the dagger route over the middle. Second and three. Big third down. Wide open. Seam route. Up the middle. Okay, Namath, what are you cooking with? I think he had the out route on the other side for more yards, but instead he goes to his left. Only 15 seconds left. Might have someone up the middle. Namath, you can't take a sack. He's going to throw it. He had a man, but it's swatted away. So the Jets take their field goal. They go up three to nothing because they get the ball in the second half. And if they can either hold the ball or score first, well, this game will be just about over. And yet again, when I'm not paying attention and least expecting it, something big happens on the kickoff. Holy crap, we got a fumble on the kickoff. The Steelers recover. Second and five, Bradshaw's in five wide. He looks like he's got someone over the middle. He does. They still don't want to put in the bus. This just blows my mind. He's on their roster, but they don't want to use him. Instead, they got Najee. But hey, maybe this is why I'm not coaching this team. And Najee gets in for the easy touchdown. The Steelers might be the favorite in this imperialism. They have dominated every single team that they've played against. And we spin to see who's next on the attack, on the prowl. I want to see someone hungry, man. Looks like we're going to get the Cowboys for the first time. Their first attack of this imperialism. Realism, surrounded by the Saints and some empty space and the Texans. But they will be attacking in the direction of their east. They'll be taking on the Texans. Third down and one. J.J. Watt on the outside. He can't get off his block. And Emmett Smith has space. Tries the spin move. What do you got, Troy Aikman? Drops back. Hits an instant seam pass to the outside. I'm expecting him to go to Des Bryant here. He does on the outside. Easy first down conversion. Okay, Troy. Big third and four. You made it all this way. Wide open. Des Bryant. Touchdown. Texans are eliminated. And the Cowboys take over Texas. I gotta say, I kind of saw that one coming. I'm sorry, Texans fans. And we spin for our next attacker, which it looks like we're going back 
Do the Carolina Panthers or the Cincinnati Bengals? Which one? The Carolina Panthers, the East Coast. And they'll be attacking in the direction of. Can't be East. There's an ocean there. It's going to be South. And they're going to be taking on the Atlanta Falcons, who, remember, own Tennessee and Missouri. The Falcons are the underdog yet again, but we saw a pretty great performance from them led by Mike Vick last game, so I'm not counting them out for anything yet. And this game ended up being a massive back and forth. Cam Newton made a bunch of mistakes, and Brian Burns just kept getting in the backfield to sack Mike Vick. And even when the Falcons felt like they were threatening, down goes Vick yet again, just putting his team in a really tough situation until finally the Panthers have a chance, and Cam Newton throws an Aaron pass leading to an interception. And then we have punt after punt after punt, and no one could really get it going until we're down to just one minute left in the fourth quarter, and Mike Vick has a chance to put together a money drive to go for the tiebreaker win. Pressure's on. Oh, they keep it with the read option. What a play call. He's got one chance to make this. This is for the win. Puts it up from the 32, and it's good. The Falcons secure the victory. Without a touchdown scored, they win the game, which is the tiebreaker, and they take over all of Carolina's territory, which is North and South Carolina. Even though they have the low rating, the studs that they have on their team came to play, and it's clear. And now we'll see who goes on the attack next. It looks like it's going to be back to the West Coast. We move as we're looking at the LA Rams. And the LA Rams will be tacking in the direction of their east. A little bit northeast, but it's going to be the Vegas Raiders who have remained unchallenged to this point. I know they're not the best team right now in the NFL, but they have some absolute monsters on their team. They're 91 overall on this all-legends roster. Up the middle, Bo Jackson! No, it's Marcus Allen! Gannon, no drop back on the shotgun pass. Easy completion to his receiver. Marcus Allen with the handoff. He's got breakaway speed, dude. An easy 15-yard gain. Going to Marcus Allen on the outside. Yes, it is. He goes. He keeps running. We've entered the second quarter. There's two minutes left. 31-yard line. They're not going to hand it off, even though I think they should have. Long drop, deep drop, wide open. Rich Gannon knows where everyone is on the field. He knows where anyone is open. We saw the Rams pretty easily take down the 49ers. But right there, man, Dave Casper for the touchdown. Rams are going home, and the Raiders take over Northern California. The team list is getting shorter, but we're getting more and more powerhouses left. Every one of these games could be really tough. And we're going back to the East Coast with the Baltimore Ravens. The Baltimore Ravens will be attacking towards their South, which means they're going to be taking on the Washington Commanders at FedEx Field. And right away, Lamar asserts his dominance. Wide open, Rashad Bateman. But I don't see him. But all they need is Lamar Jackson to take off. I think if he goes wider, he's probably gone. They're to the 31. Let's see what they do here. Play action. Lamar scrambling to his right. He's got space. He's going to take off and scramble. Make one man miss, Lamar. He tried to break a tackle, but just got tackled by the secondary defender. Okay, Lamar, find your running back in the flat. Find Mark Andrews in the flat. No one on him. He's going to have a pretty easy first down. Almost second and one. Big third down and one for the Ravens. I'm expecting a run here. They decide to pass it. He's got a wide open tight end in the flat. Almost. Why are we in shotgun, guys? All you had to do was run it in from goal line. Now you're going to take a negative loss. Yep, that's so predictable. Never mind. Easy touchdown. J.K. Dobbins in for the easy score. The Ravens take down the Commanders on their first drive of the game. I'd love to go back out west. I want to see the Raiders play again, man. They're going to be a powerhouse in this competition. Instead, we got the Broncos. And they are going to be in the attacking direction of their west, which they'll be taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. 88 versus 91, a matchup of two powerhouse teams. Remember, we got John Elway at quarterback, not Peyton Manning. Might we see an up upset here if they can't convert on third down? He's going for it all. He's got a man wide open. That's Casper to the 42-yard line. Run the ball. Give the ball to Marcus Allen. He's going to throw it to him in the flat. No, he's not. He's got the corner route. Gets his feet inbounds. Big third and four. The Broncos defense has a massive opportunity to stop them short here. Find him to the flat. He finds him in the flat. You got to make a man miss. He can. Marcus Allen goes down fourth and five. They're going to kick a field goal. And it wasn't until the fourth quarter till either of these teams had another chance when the Broncos started to make a move. Oh, he goes deep. He's got a man, though. That's Ed McCaffrey. Oh, wait. Hit your running back. Oh, my God. There was no one in the flat. But it doesn't matter. They finally hand it off. He's got so much space to the 10. Nine yard line. He's got Demarius Thomas possibly one on one at the top of your screen. He's also got Ed McCaffrey possibly one on one at the bottom of your screen. 
and he's going to find the touchdown and the win. That was Rod Smith, the wide receiver, by the way. I know they haven't had many games so far, but they just took down an amazing team, and look at how much control they have in the West. The only people that can really attack them right now are the Vikings, Seahawks, and Chargers. As we remove the Raiders from the wheel, we are down to just above 10 teams here, and now we're going back to the East Coast, back to the New England Patriots, who we have not seen play yet, but they've just been slowly inching their way into more territory, and they're going to be attacking in the direction of their West. Finally, we've got a game. The Patriots take on the 4-0, 5-0, I don't know, several games in O Steelers. Boys, I figured out the problem. Their depth chart was messed up. I've auto reordered the depth chart. They're going to have their best starters in. They've gone 4-0 to this point without even their best players on the field, which is crazy to think about. And I'm doing this for the rest of the teams involved. The Patriots on the prowl, the GOAT at quarterback. Can they take down the Steelers who have been running through everyone in the Northeast? Sticking with Terry at quarterback, not Big Ben. Finally, they've got the bus. Another handoff. No, it's play action. Terry Bradshaw surveying the field. Just overthrows him. They're going to give the GOAT the ball. Okay, Tom. Drops back on third down. He's the third down specialist. There's Gronk. Tom Brady drops back. Surveys. He's going deep this time. Almost intercepted. Palomalu had a chance to turn this game on its head. Tom Brady finds an open man. All right, TB12. Trying to put in the end zone. The outside slant. And with 10 seconds left, they call a timeout. They bring out their field goal unit. They kick the easy field goal. Go up by three points. And we head into the second half where they do get the ball back. Stop throwing the ball so short. Give me something exciting. That's Wes Welker for a seven-yard game. I'm ready. Play action. Surveying the field. Goes to the left. He's got his man. He drops back again on the quick slant. This time he's got Gronk for an easy nine yard game. Third and one. You got to convert here, buddy. You got all the time in the world. You got a man wide open. This ball's going to Kevin Falk in the backfield. He's got a wide open lane if he just keeps going. And he's going to get in for the touchdown. Look at all this territory they just took in the Northeast owned by the Steelers. There are just 12 teams remaining in this imperialism competition. Once we get down to the top 10 teams, we will be going full games. Whoever wins will advance on and take over the territory. No more first touchdown. The wheel selected the Broncos. The arrow selected North. So they took over the vacated Montana. And then we rolled the New England Patriots again. Let's give her a rip. And if it's anywhere East, it's going to be unclaimed. If you ask me, that's point mostly west which means they're gonna head to indiana slash illinois and take on the colts we saw beat the bears and the bears were no joke trust me that team of all time players is really good so the fact that the colts beat them means something brady drops back surveys big third down and six here third down and six he throws the ball away they're gonna punt it and give the ball to the sheriff before halftime aiden quick throw again Bro, he's loving this connection. They call a timeout. John Mackey. Come on, Peyton. Find him again. Third and six over the middle. Misses his target. Looks like they're going to pick up three points here. Take the lead. And they do get ball at halftime. Peyton Manning finds a man wide open. Come on, Peyton. Third and eight. You got to convert, man. Over the middle. No! Peyton had T.Y. Hilton wide open. That's a touchdown. That's game. And the GOAT come through from his own 20-yard line. 153 left on the clock. Starting out with a screen pass. Lots of blockers right in front of Kevin Folk. And he's all the way up to the 38. Tom finds a man. Open. It's Gronk. They're in single back. He's under center. Yeah, okay. Quick drop back. Going to be a slant or quick throw. It's intercepted. And if they get a first down, the game's over. But regardless, they only get the ball back with maybe 35 seconds at most. Edron James, first down. Not fumbling. That's the game. But in the tiebreaker with no touchdown scored, the Colts win. I would never have had my money on that one. And just like that, the Colts take almost complete control of the Northeast with just Baltimore and Cincinnati threatening and then some unopened territories or unclaimed territories that they can still pick up. And these teams are going to get really competitive as we go down to the final 10. As we take off the New England Patriots from the wheel, now we'll see who's going to attack next. I'd love to stick with the Colts if we possibly could. I think that would be so electric. But instead, we're going to stay in the Northeast with the really only contender to the Colts, the Cincinnati Bengals. And they're going to attack in the direction of their Southwest, which means they're taking on the Falcons. They're going to start by handing off the ball. Michael Turner, no way. Oh my God, he put the juke on. If that safety wasn't there, he was gone for a touchdown. No one was going to catch him. Down the field, almost Mike Vick. Come on, Mike Vick. You gotta be clutch. He gets out. Oh my God, he's got lightning speed, but we already knew that to the 36 yard line. Look at this play, man. Holy cow. And then he just 
blazes by the entire linebacker core. Play action, Mike Vick in the middle of the field. He's got a man! Do they have the play call? Can he scramble? He doesn't need to. Easy touchdown! Down go the Bengals! This Falcons team is the underdog, man. Roddy White, Julio Jones, Mike Vick, Michael Turner. Are you kidding me? This team is so good. The Falcons came, the Falcons saw, and the Falcons conquered. They got the Saints to their southwest. This is getting interesting, and we are down to our top 10 teams, which means we're taking every single one of these games down to the final second to see who can bring home the W. Spinning to see who's going on the attack next. In our top 10 teams remaining. Gonna go by the Falcons all the way to the Baltimore Ravens. And they will be attacking in the direction of their Northwest. Which, of course, is the Colts, who have just been absolutely dominant taking down the Patriots. This is a battle for a lot of Northeastern territory. And since we're playing the full game still on two-minute quarters here, we're gonna be taking this Chris Berman fastest two-minute style, only showing you the highlight plays. Second to ten. He's going deep! He's got Mark Andrews! Kick is up. From Justin Tucker, the GOAT, and the kick is good. Three to three. And at this point, the Sheriff, Peyton Manning, has a chance for a money drive. Driving all the way down the field. Almost as time expires, he puts the ball in Adam Vinatieri, the GOAT's hands. Oh my god, they tried to kick the field goal and it's off the post. Justin Tucker's gonna try for the game winner. From the 57-yard line, this is a 67-yard field goal for Justin Tucker. It's up, it's got the leg, it's good! Oh my god! I'm speechless. I'm telling you, all these games are gonna come down to the wire. What a showing from both teams here. The Ravens steal the Colts territory. They own the Northeast, and they're moving on to our top nine. And with the next few spins, we have some more unclaimed territory to be conquered. The Saints head northwest. The Jags head west. The Vikings claim North Dakota. Until finally, we have the Cowboys heading north to take on the Saints in Oklahoma. The Cowboys start off strong as Troy Aikman finds Des Bryant for the go-ahead score in the end zone just for the favor to be returned when Drew Brees finds a wide-open Michael Thomas on the seam streak, tying the game up at seven. Remember, these are short quarters, though, so on the next drive, when the Cowboys end up kicking the go-ahead field goal, they secure a 10-7 victory and take down the Saints, claiming all of their territory. The Saints are off the list, man. We've got... A few more teams here, eight teams left. Looks like we're gonna land on the Denver Broncos. We're going back to the West Coast, looking at John Elway, and they will be attacking in the direction of their Northwest, which of course is gonna be the Seattle Seahawks who have remained relatively untouched throughout this competition. Russ goes deep, he's got a man wide open. It's Largent again. They call timeout. They're gonna take their three points here. It's seven to three game. Really their last opportunity if they don't convert first down away second and seven got a man up the field Demarius Thomas to the six 12 11 10 9 snap the ball Broncos two plays they've got two plays oh my god he completes the touchdown the Broncos as time is basically expiring take down the Seahawks and that is the game Remember, we'll be simming a franchise after whoever wins that Super Bowl will have a shot of redemption against the last team standing from imperialism but for right now we spin the wheel to see who our next attacking team will be and in which direction they will be attacking a team we have not seen or heard from for a while we've got the los angeles charger and they will be attacking in the direction of their southeast and it's an unclaimed territory in new mexico so they get an easy expansion i'd like to see them attack again after an easy expansion but we do have to abide by what the wheel says and the wheel is going just east of there to the Cowboys. Now, if they land west, they can try to take down the Chargers. The Saint Arrow, which is going to say Northwest. Cowboys, Broncos, a powerhouse matchup, man. Just a little sliver here. Okay, Elway, you got a man. Ed McCaffrey's open down the sideline. It's a foot race. Knocked down at the three yard line. Shannon Sharp from the slot. I think he does, but he throws it to the flat. Demarius Thomas in for the touchdown. The Broncos take the lead. Tell me they're not running the ball. Okay, it's a long drop. Yeah, he goes over the middle. He's got Hayes again, who's got a big game this time. Field goal attempt. The kick is up, and the kick is good. We're going to overtime, boys. Elway snaps. He surveys. He's got a man, Ed McCaffrey. It's a foot race to the end zone. McCaffrey down at the one. Offensive line is no joke. They go with the fullback dive, and he gets stopped. Oh, they're going to run a little wham. Going to run a little wham up the middle. There's a hole. Touchdown, Broncos, and that's the game. Bye-bye, Cowboys. Fires are the Chargers, who we have not seen 
No, it looks like it's going to be the Jacksonville Jaguars. And they will be attacking in the direction of their northeast. Which means they'll be taking on the Atlanta Falcons, a sneaky team at only 66 overall. Little quarterback draw. Mike Vick going to run it in. No, he has got Cordero Patterson. Oh my God, he is going to run it in. He is going to run it in. The cutback, the jump and dive in the end zone. Oh my God, he's got a man up the middle. And then the Jags end up settling for three and Mike Vick takes back over. Third and four. The Jags can get a stop. That's big. But of course, Roddy White's wide open on the wheel route from the slot. Oh my God, Vick throws a pick to the linebacker sitting right in the middle of the field. They're in four down territory. They run the screen. He's got blocking. He could have gotten out of bounds. Fred Taylor. What does Brunel have in store? Oh my God, he's got a man open on the seam. Back surveys he's going to the end zone he's got a man touchdown that could be the dagger come on Vic at least give him the time to get the ball off what was that that touchdown went to Mercedes Lewis by the way the man is a dinosaur and the Jaguars have now taken over the southeast almost in its entirety we're down to five teams this competition is really heating up and after landing on the Ravens two spins in a row they actually claimed all the territory to their northeast and their south but on our third spin we landed on the Vikings who are headed east to take on the Baltimore Ravens this game really could go either way I'm not even going to try to predict it Lamar going for the end zone this time he's got a man touchdown down. Grant Tarkenton surveys got a man reception Hawkinson with the block and he might be gone it's a foot race touchdown Vikings they tie the game hey Lamar you've got an opportunity here they're in field goal range with that reception kick is up kick is good 10 to 7 lead for the Ravens heading into halftime I'm liking Chris Carter one-on-one -on -one, but he's got a bunch off to the right he's got his running back going out for a route he throws an interception Roquan Smith gets it it doesn't matter if he goes down. They just need one first down and this game is over. Fourth and three. Are they going to go for this? They're in field goal range. Patrick Ricard on the fullback dive. He's got breakaway speed. And just like that, the Ravens secure a win, taking over the Midwest. This to take us to the bottom three. Whoever survives this game looks like we're finally going to see these chargers again it's been a minute man and they will be attacking in the direction of i don't think it matters they're taking on the broncos regardless because they're surrounded by them he surveys he's got mccaffrey wide open touchdown broncos river scans got a man wide open touchdown they're keeping the ball on the ground Ladanian tomlinson if he breaks outside man he's got a lane but he cuts it back and gets tackled they're gonna keep it on the ground now i like this Ladanian tomlinson breakaway speed i'm expecting them to tote the rock instead they're gonna run play action and rivers is gonna find charlie joiner again the kick is up the kick is good it's a 10 to 7 lead and elway has one last hail mary chance but they can't complete it and the chargers have now claimed the west in its entirety let's give it a spin to see which of our three remaining teams will be going on the attack first if i'm a one of the three remaining i want to go on the attack we're going to be going down south to the southeast, the Jacksonville Jaguars will be on the prowl in the direction of their west, meaning they're taking on the Chargers. And yet again, I'm not paying attention during a crucial moment in this game. It's the opening kickoff and the Chargers assert their dominance. Oh my God, they return the opening kickoff. You see, just like that, dude, he gets a hole, he's gone. Third and 11, they find themselves in another tough situation and he throws the ball away, giving the ball back to the Chargers with time left in the second. Philip Rivers finds an open man again, LaDainian Tomlinson over the middle. They're moving the ball with ease. It's no competition against these Jags. Rivers takes a shot at the end zone. He's got a man wide open, Antonio Gates. Touchdown, 14 to nothing as time expires in the half. Game absolutely set and match. There's no way the Jags come back. Fourth and goal from the seven yard line. They still three timeouts but this is the game if they can't score here. If they get in the end zone, we got a game, man. Brunel throws over his head. That's the game. The Chargers are going to take this one home. And we are down to just the Chargers and the Ravens. All we've got to do here is spin to see who's going to be the home and who's going to be the away team, who is going on the attack. And it looks like it's going to be the Chargers, which I like because they have been on fire hot. And we're going to be heading to Baltimore to take on the Ravens. Now we still have two unclaimed states in the middle, which will be going to the winner of our franchise sim over wins that Super Bowl, who will be surrounded by the imperialism champion with one final chance to reclaim their throne in a full six-minute quarter game. So this will not be the last one. But you could say regardless of who wins this game is Ladanian Tomlinson absolutely takes off Jukes a man. Oh my God, what a start for the Chargers. And he takes the sack. Fourth and 17, the Chargers have to punt it away and the Ravens are not going down easy. Be a tough conversion. 
Lamar's gonna try to scramble. He's got a man. Hollywood Brown catches it. Lamar goes down. Lamar throws it deep. Holy cow, he's got a man. And it's right through Torrey Smith's hands. So the Ravens punt it away and give the Chargers an opportunity. Go deep, go deep. No, he throws to the flats. Antonio Gates, wide open, gets out of bounds. Oh, the stiff arm. All right, Rivers, make us proud. Go towards the end zone. He's got a man wide open. They are going to take at least one shot to the end zone from the 13-yard line. I have faith. This looks like tight man coverage. A lot of press. He's got him in the slot, but he didn't throw it. Instead, he's going to throw it out the back of the end zone. They'll take their three points. Lamar takes off. He's got space. He can beat Bosa to the outside, but Bosa with a big tackle. Lamar again for the first time. Oh my God, Lamar. There's just no coverage on him. Lakes a man miss. What a move. Another guy. Lamar Jackson, you are absurd. The question is how many ankles is Lamar going to break? And he breaks a tackle there and almost breaks another tackle. Second and five. Lamar drops back. He surveys. He's got a man over the middle and misses his target. Huge third down. This could be the game. He's got a man and he misses him again in the same spot. Gig is up. Gig is good. Justin Tucker's not missing that one. Okay, Phil. Now's the time. Hits his running back in the flat. Over pursues. Not his running back. It's Charlie Joyner, his favorite target yet again. Second and six. Stop hitting your check downs, bro. We all know it's fourth down territory or maybe it's not, but dude, he hits the flat again. What is Phillip Rivers doing? He's choking so hard. Absolutely dumbfounded by the Chargers right now. And for some reason, the the Baltimore Ravens don't want to be aggressive here, so they run out the clock in the fourth quarter, and we're headed to overtime in this championship matchup. The Chargers won the toss. They elect to receive, so Phillip Rivers has a shot at redemption here after whatever that embarrassing fourth quarter drive was. Okay, Phillip Rivers, finally go deep. Dude, stop with the checkdowns. I feel like I'm watching real life Phillip Rivers right now, not 90-something overall Madden Phillip Rivers. Rivers, finally, a first down throw. <laughs> it gets broken up. So the Chargers are forced to punt, and it's in Lamar's hands. Lamar, being aggressive. A six-yard gain on the first throw. I like it. Third and nine, the Chargers have a chance to get off the field. And Lamar surveys. He's got a man, but he's going to get tackled ahead of the sticks. And we're going to get another punt here. Please throw the ball farther than three yards. He does. Finally, Charlie Joyner. No, that's Keenan Allen with the catch. Big third down. They are not in field goal range. Maybe they think they are. It's fourth and two. They're going to try to kick the field goal here. Baltimore is going to call a timeout to ice them. I don't know if they're going to be able to make this kick, but this is for the game. This is going to be like a 55-yard field goal. It's up. It's good. The Chargers win. The Chargers are our winner's bracket champions of imperialism. One game left for them to seal the deal, but another team has a shot at redemption through what we're going to call our loser's bracket. Whoever does win the Super Bowl will be clashing against the Chargers in a full six-minute quarter head-to-head -head showdown. And after simming to our Super Bowl, it's great to see that one of the teams that will have a shot at redemption was two of our first teams out, the 49ers versus the Chiefs. It's all up to whoever wins this game. It looks like the 49ers. Niners take it home as the Super Bowl champion. We have the San Francisco 49ers. We have the Chargers. And right off the bat, LaDainian Tomlinson starts hot. LaDainian Tomlinson on the first play. Third and 10. Rivers drops back. This is a big down. He can't afford to check it down, but this 49ers, he's so good. He finds a man with a face mask bonus 15 yards at the end of the play. Rivers surveys. He might have a man. He goes for the end zone. He's got him. Touchdown with the toe tap. LT. Seven to nothing lead for the Chargers. What a toe tap, dude. That is perfect. This is Joe Montana's first time at quarterback. He's got a man open down the field. Big third and eight here. Montana's going to kind of scramble. He's got a man wide open. They're in the red zone. He's got a man, George Kittle, easy touchdown, 49ers. And on the Chargers' next drive, they fall short on third down and punt the ball. Montana's got a lot of time in the pocket. He's surveying. He's throwing deep. He's got a man. There's Jerry Rice. Chargers have to get off the field. Instead, they've got a wide open Dwight Clark for an easy touchdown. The 49ers go up 14 to 7. River surveys. He's going way deep. He's got a man. Touched. No, down at the one. Come on, run it in, LT. Tie game. I'm very nervous about this 49ers team is he's got use check out of the backfield on the crosser. And I'm personally rooting for the Chargers, but this 49ers team is so good. He's got number 84, Vernon Davis. Dude, how many tight ends can this team possibly have? From the eight yard line, they're gonna hand it off to Frank Gore. He's gonna get almost tackled, breaks it, finds his way into the end zone. Rivers is surveying. He's got so much time and he's got a man, hangs on to it. We're nearing the end of the third quarter, only 40 seconds left. This is a huge third down. Come on, Rivers, I have faith in you. And he throws the ball away. They're gonna punt. Third and five. 
He's got a man. Wide open. Easy first down. That's Dwight Clark. Oh, Derwin James with the pass breakup. Third down and three. 49ers still are not in plus territory. He throws it short of the sticks. Big tackle opportunity on Jerry Rice. And Derwin James completes the tackle. This is your time to shine. He throws the ball down the field. Man, wide open. Antonio Gates. And here's where I can tell that Rivers is locking in. He's got Joyner across the middle for a first down. Gonna pitch it outside. He gets outside, but he just can't complete the first down. This is in the game completely. They do have three timeouts, but this would be a huge conversion. Quick out. Quick out. Quick in the slant. He got some off coverage from the 49ers, and they're going to make a pay with the quick out. That's Charlie Joyner. They're going to hand it off again to LT. This time he gets a lot closer down to the one yard line. If I'm them. I'm handing it off up the middle. They got numbers on the left side. They do. They hand it off. Easy touchdown. We got ourselves a tie game. And the 49ers, Joe Montana, Jerry Rice, Vernon Davis, George Kittle, Terrell Owens, Dwight Clark, and they battle back with a minute left and three timeouts and score a touchdown or a field goal and win this game. Or are we going to go to overtime? 58 seconds, first and 10. Joe Montana snaps the ball. He's scrambling to his right. He throws it back across his body, and it's intercepted by Derwin James. Who's going to return it to the 17? Montana made the biggest mistake of the year of the game of the Super Bowl. What just happened? Ladies and gentlemen, you can't write this script. Yes, you can't. You can... I hate when coaches say that. You can literally write any script you want. But I could not have made this up. I don't have the creative liberty. This is an awesome game ending. This is an awesome tournament ending to over 12 hours of recording. And now we've got Philip Rivers on a read option. Just hand it off to Tomlinson, please. Thank you. Just get one first down, dude. They're going to hand it off. First down, Tomlinson. They didn't let him score, though. This is the kick. They're not going to be iced. The 49ers don't have a timeout. They snap it. The kick is up, and the kick is good. And the Chargers are the champions of NFL imperialism with the greatest players of all time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel and watch the video that's on screen now. I promise you're going to love it.